Hi everybody, this is Laura with Jot and Tittle Type Writers. I have a Smith Corona Sterling. Again, these are just great typewriters. Gotta tell ya. Um, uh, this is your just basic beige with the green keys. This is a 1956. If you are just looking for a solid vintage typewriter manual that's gonna be with you for the long haul, the Sterling is your go-to typewriter. So let's take a look at it. Here is your paper holder, your margins, all right. Um, if you want to set your tabs, you pop open the top and inside you'll see a bar with grooves and you'll see uh, some typewriter keys. Uh, I call them keys, but they're really kind of a tab. Tab stop is what they are and you just pull them out and then you just slide them where you want it. Sorry, it's hard to see with a light and a camera in the way. There you go. Put it back down. Okay, um, carriage release are the two metal levers behind. It doesn't matter which one, just pull it. You can hear the bell. It's very faint though. Um, and then on the right side is your paper release. Left side is your uh, line selector. So when you hit the return handle, it advance one, two, or three lines. You'll also see on the typewriter, there's a little metal knob right here. That's not for decoration. If you press it in, or sorry, if you pull it out, then that releases the roller and that comes in handy. Let's say you're using lined paper or ch there's some boxes you wanna put a check mark or X in, um, or you wanna do subscript or superscript. You can't do that because um, this will, you hear the clicking on it, it clicks every half of a line. But when you pull this out, that releases the roller so that you can kind of line it up exactly where you want. This little lever right here where my finger is, it's hard to see but that does the same thing as well, okay? Um, also, move it to the left, pop open the top, and this is where your ribbon is, and you'll see we put in a universal ribbon. It's your basic two-inch ribbon spool fits most typewriters. If you need a new ribbon, you can visit our website at jotintiltypewriters.com, and you'll see some ribbon options in our store. You can also find the link in the description below. Uh, when you change it out, you just pop it out, pop it in, make sure it's threaded through all these guide wires properly. I have a photo of this whole escapement area so that you can see how to thread that. Again, use the product listing link in the description below. You have to use that link to find it on our website because once this typewriter sells, it disappears, but you can still see it if you have the link. Um, and then you want to bookmark it if you want to uh, reference back to this video or to the, the product listing. Okay, so when you get to the end of the ribbon, it's not the end of the ring, li, uh, ink. You have to manually reverse the direction of your ribbon. And you do that right here on the left side and goes back and forth. And you do that many, many times before you need to replace your ribbon. Okay, on the um, left side of your frame, metal frame, you're gonna find the serial number for your typewriter. Um, write that down, and then if you visit typewriterdatabase.com, you should be able to find um, the year in which it was manufactured. Okay, let's go ahead and do our typing demo. Okay, so let's just put some paper right here. And you can bring in this paper guide as well. Just set it right here and turn the handle. And you can see that my paper is crooked. So I'm gonna bring this forward. And also the paper is a little bit off the roller. So I'm gonna bring my paper guide out and just uh, move my paper. And that's why this is really handy, this paper release. So just line it up. Make sure you re-engage it though. Okay, and let's start typing. So no number one, you use a lowercase L. This is a 1956. Smith Corona Sterling. And let's go through and test all of the keys.
So this is feeling pretty good. I'm gonna tie the tab key here. Okay, so the tab works. It's just not set where I want, and I don't wanna open it up and reset it, so I'll just manually. And most people don't use tabs. In fact, some typewriters don't have the tab option because it's not used very often, but it's, it's handy for like columns or if you wanna indent your paragraphs, or you can just use your space bar. some sentences. So for those of you that don't know why, and may wonder why do I use the sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, that's because it uses every letter in the alphabet. Oops. So you can hear that bell. Um, let's do the black ribbon now. Oops, and if you make a mistake, you can backspace, which is right here. But backspace doesn't erase, it just backspaces so you can type over, or in this case, I hit an extra letter. So, you know, you can either just keep going or, I mean, it's part of typewriting is you make mistakes. And so you can just X through it if you want and then keep going. It's a very imperfect art anymore. And uh, you can find, you know, like uh, white out or something if you really want to use that, or you can just keep going. I think those of us who are in that type of sphere world, um, know that the mistakes, the X's, the, you know, the lines or whatever you want to use or typing over a letter, that's just part of using a typewriter. Okay, so now the bow just went off, but this time instead of hitting the return handle, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so now it's gonna stop and I hit MR, margin release, and then to finish my word and now I'll hit the return handle. Okay, this is, looks really good. The font or the typeface is really clear. Uh, a little bit of bleeding right here, but that's probably because I was hitting the keys too hard. So as you get used to a new typewriter, you might have to adjust you know, a little bit of tension here and there on how, the pressure that you put on the keys or how quickly you hit those, those keys. That's just part of of learning how to use your typewriter. But overall, this typeface looks really nice. It's nice and clear. Um, the keys felt really good and the exterior is in decent shape. I mean, there's a few places. Um, there's a little bit of chipping here, but overall, um, and there's some, uh, there's just some uh, discoloration here and there, but overall it's really in great condition. I think you're going to be very happy with it. The Sterling is just such a wonderful typewriter. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out the links in the description below. Give me a thumbs up and you all have a blessed day.